All right, YouTube, what is going on? Take a little sneak peek behind me. If that looks like something you guys are interested in, go ahead and stay tuned because today we're gonna go ahead and install HC Motion new tail lights here for the Lancer, Rally Arts, and Evo 10s. These should fit your 2008 through your 2015 body style. So stay tuned, these are pretty exciting tail lights. These have only been released couple months now and I think this is probably gonna be the first video on YouTube so bear with me but um it was a pretty simple straightforward install so with that being said let's get to the video All right, so now that all of our prep work is done, got all the panels removed. I have the Rockford sound system, so here's the sub. I had to remove that to go ahead and give us access to remove this little piece because there's some connections back here that we need to mess with. But um, for the most part, we're ready to go ahead and start. So keep in mind, since I do have the Audi tail lights, this isn't what your stock setup is going to look like. So just keep that in mind. But everything is the same. We're going to have to go ahead and remove the tail lights. So these are little Phillips heads. So you need a Phillips head screwdriver, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter, and little pop clips, a little removal tool if you want. If you don't have that, you can use a flat head. Other than that, that's pretty much all the tools you are gonna need. But yeah, so I'm probably gonna be the first one to install this and put this on YouTube, so bear with me. The instructions are pretty vague, as you can tell. And on the other side, I thought there's a lot more instructions, but it's just the same thing in Chinese, I think. Not sure, but we can go ahead and figure it out. So something to keep in mind, save all your hardware because the new tail lights do not come with it. So we're gonna be reusing these screws. Put them somewhere safe. Alright, once both portions of the tail lights are removed, you're going to come up right behind this little panel. And there's going to be this guy right here. As you guys already saw, I disconnected it and I pulled that wire through. We're no longer going to need it. This is part of the VLAN, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to get rid of that as well. And now here is our tail light. The new one. Real quick, here's the back side. So really, the only connection you have is this one white one right here which goes to that one inside that panel. And then there's one more that connects to another provided wire harness. So let's go ahead and put this on the car real quick. All right, got the new tail light seated there for now. Ran the harness through, connected it back to that old portion that we just disconnected. And it should draw some type of power. Let's go ahead and turn the car on real quick. Ooh, and it's alive. So that portion is good. And obviously, this no longer has power on the trunk side because that was connected up there. But wow. As far as brightness goes, those are actually a little bit brighter than the Audi tail lights. Pretty cool. So next up, there's two bundles of wires. You guys are going to want to go ahead and find 
the, the longer wire and that's going to connect to your power which is coming from this light so here is the longer one you're going to go ahead and find your end here's your male end it's going to mate with the female end and that's going to run up to your trunk light so let's go ahead do that real quick Okay, now that we've got the harnesses ran through, so it's gonna be really simple. So this right here is gonna be for your display. Whenever you turn your car on, you can turn it on or off. I'll show you guys that function here in a little bit. Has one spot for your harness. Here is your stock harness, and it's only gonna really let, allow you to fit it through one of them, which is this guy right here. So I'll plug that in when I have two hands free. Then it also has this one, which this is gonna connect to the one from down below we'll be feeding it through here and connects right there and then this last thin one is actually going to be for another wire harness kit that takes you out to your other tail light all right real quick the instructions actually do make sense so here's the one with the black and white so it's going to be connecting both of your trunk tail lights it's just kind of worded kind of funny so the one with it's actually white and blue so these ones are going to be the ones connecting to both of your trunk lights and that's with that little smaller cable over there. So for this outer housing tail light, same thing as the driver's side, you're gonna need to go ahead and remove one and two of these little clips. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you access behind here. And here is this connector right here, kind of reflecting what the other side had. And you're gonna disconnect from here Pull out that harness and connect the new one, just like we did on the other side. So just a small little detail I want to show you guys, but this new harness actually comes with a replacement grommet. So it's going to protect from water, which is excellent. So this is probably the easiest plug and play I've ever seen for the tail lights. Pretty happy about it. Alright, so there we go. We have it running through. We're just going to connect it right there. Hear that audible pop. We should be good. And here's that other end to the tail light. So that's just going to mount up right towards the end of this one hanging down. After that, we have all the connections ready to go. And we'll go ahead and test the lights, make sure they work. Alright, one light, two light, three light, four light. But before we reroute everything, since I know everything is good, we're going to go ahead and bolt everything back up. So again, we're going to put those two nuts on the trunk side and the two screws here on, I don't know, the, the rear panel side. So as I'm putting these in, I realize the resistor is still here. So that cuts into the one you're actually going to be using. Now the, resistor, now the resistor is there because I had the VLAN tail lights, which would cut off my uh, rear camera early or my reverse lights so I had to buy a resistor and that fixed the problem I'm not really 100% sure if that would be an issue with these tail lights but since this is already cut through there it shouldn't affect it too much but um yeah so I'm just gonna keep that as is and I'll let you guys know if I have any issues that I run into but um yeah I figured I'd throw that in this video for those of you who are gonna make the swap from VLANs all right so I have all my wires pretty much going where they need to go routed I just gotta go ahead kind of curl these up and stow them away out of sight i know it doesn't really matter since the cover is going back on but i wanted to go ahead and show you guys a couple things right now so right here the colorful wire compared to the blue and white one so the colorful one has two different sizes now the longer of the colorful wires it's going to go to your passenger side tail light and that's because you're going to go ahead and route it through here bring it on down goes through this little snakes through this little hole right here comes on down and I have it routing all the way through back to this side. Now, that's important because the other one's a little too short, and that's because that's just going from here 
to that tail light right there. So that's the only main difference. And then the blue and white one, like I told you guys, just connects the two tail lights together. Pretty straightforward. Everything is truly plug and play. Each outside tail light connects to the connector behind this little finish. As you guys can tell, the fitment is awesome. So one of the things I didn't like about the VLAN tail lights is they stuck out. Nothing exaggerated like the, the VLANs did, but they're also not flat like the stock ones. So that's what you can expect when you go ahead and install these. Pretty badass. Fitment is pretty much perfect. Pretty happy with that. Now the moment we've all kind of been waiting for, let me go ahead and show you guys the lights. That is freaking sick. Man, I am happy with these. Let's go ahead and turn on our hazards. See what those look like. Pretty basic, but you get a nice LED running through there. And these are bright, just to remind you guys. And look at that, they look like a 3D look to them in person. I don't know if that camera picks it up, but look at that. It looks 3D-ish. Very happy with them. And last but not least, to go ahead and check the function, let's go ahead and put the car in reverse and make sure our backup camera works. Which it does, so let's wait about five seconds, see if it cuts out. All right, so usually if we had that backup camera cutting out issue, it would have cut out by now. So safe to say that either that resistor is working or these tail lights are good. Regardless, we are solid. Real quick, here's the backup lights. Very nice and white, very bright white lights right there, so backup lights work as well. All right, so here's everything routed the way I have it. Just have a couple of zip ties holding that there. Comes up here a little wrapped up. Nothing professional, you know, but just a little bit cleaner than usual. Now right here, what you really wanna do is you're gonna route it through here. You can use like a hanger, a little metal hanger, and you can tie it to the end, snake it through. But this isn't gonna be any car shows or anything. And this has protected weather insulation on there. So I'm not really too worried about water getting to it. So we should be okay there. Um, I'll go ahead and tuck that through there down the line, but for now this will work. And um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and throw our cover back on and call it a video. So focus on my lights, I actually forgot. I still have to install my subwoofer. So throw that in there, put all the trunk back together. And uh, yeah, we'll call it a video and we'll go ahead and throw some cinematic shots in there for you. That way you could get a full aspect of what to expect with these tail lights. So far, I am super happy. Um, pretty much an easier install than the VLANs were. You didn't have to swap anything within the tail light housings themselves. And I did this pretty much in about an hour and a half. So pretty stoked about this. Now for the fun part. Let's go ahead and show you guys what this tricky, nice little button does. So we'll go ahead and power off this side. Shut the trunk. Back up a little bit. So as you guys can tell, this one has a nice cool little animation upon startup. And this one doesn't. So what that little fancy button does is it enables that animation. So you have the option to go ahead and turn it off or leave it on. So let's go ahead and do that one more time for you. So again, let's go ahead and lock it. Unlock. This one's animated. So I don't know, I guess if you guys want a cool little look, you can go that way. Or if you just want the, you don't want to be too crazy, you can go ahead and leave it off. So, but for the sake of new lights, I think I'm going to leave them both on. But yeah, so once again, they have one on this side 
and they have one on the side as well so a lot of things you can do with these tail lights well worth the money I believe let's go ahead and pull it out of the garage where it's a little darker out there do a quick little walk around for you guys and show you everything My gosh, I freaking love these things. This car looks so aggressive right now. I wish this camera picked up the lights a little better for you. Oh man. These are fucking badass. Excuse my language. And it like lights up the wing too, if you guys can tell. Those VLANs definitely do that, the stock didn't do that, so that gives it a nice little dynamic. Look at that, that's freaking awesome. Pretty dang happy about this. So let me go ahead and turn on the hazards just to show you guys the functions of everything. So the cool thing is we keep the sequentials on the back, still have them here on the sides between the mirror and the side marker, and then of course here on the VLAN tail lights as well. So pretty nice little setup, I'm pretty sure once these headlights get more popular we'll be seeing more of these on the road as well. only appropriate to show you guys what they look like here during the day so as you can tell they have a nice little tinted look towards them and they stick out pretty much just about the same amount as the stock ones did and yeah definitely still see the red accents and here's with the lights on so even during the day you can see they're pretty bright. Overall, I am ecstatic about these lights. Highly, highly recommend if you're looking for aftermarket tail lights. Alright, so there you have it. That's going to conclude today's little video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell because a lot more stuff is coming for the rally art. A lot more performance stuff, a lot more interior stuff, hint, and um, just overall I'm gonna be putting more stuff up on this build. Just as a reminder, go ahead and look down in the description box. That's where you'll go ahead and find the links for these taillights as well. So other than that, I just wanna say thanks for watching. Never live your life on I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Oh, and as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, lay them down in the comments section down below and I'll try to address them for you. Catch you guys in the next one.